pay in the universe of the YouTube world. Oh yeah, yep, these are reboot time out here, out here on the diggity deals. I'm not dealing the diggity deals, and the diggity deals would mean in the sticks somewhere in the hills. I'm not, so I'm not in the diggity deals. You ever heard of the word diggity deals before? Well, now you have. There's the real thing now that I made it up. All right, uh, I got a little 10 by 12. The road is bumpy. Got a stop sign. Always stop. All right. Who doesn't like four-way stops and you gotta look at people like, hey, you go, no, you go for, oh no, I go first, you go last, I said you go first. So anyways, 10 by 12, um, don't, don't know much about it like usual, but it looks like they're quite a ways behind the pavement. So, we about to go up in here, up in here and uh, see what we get into. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I just kind of have to clip my camera on here because I don't have a way to attach it somewhere. I need to get some kind of bracket to attach it to the truck. Um, I drove past. I saw where it was. Thank you, buddy. People backing up for me and all kinds of stuff. But I can see where I get back to it, so I'm gonna quickly turn around and back up to it so that if they try to block it or something, I can get my trailer right up to it real quick. Perfect. It's perfect right there. That's where I wanna be. Right here. Right there's where I wanna be. waste much time I'm gonna try to load this baby up 2377db make sure I got the right one pretty much tell they're home huh. bunch of stuff in it let's see one two two three two two boom yep that's the one all right, now the question is, do I have time to take stuff out? I don't think I do. Load her up. Try to get a little closer. A car just pulled up, parks on the road, so we'll see if it's them. Oh, how's it going? Good. Is it yours? Is yours? No, not at all. I'm just getting ready to pick up the starter switch. Okay. What's that? Where's it going? Uh, I gotta take it to the lot. Oh, they didn't take one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never knew that you could repo those things. Oh yeah, we repo these things. Come on.
I'm ready to roll. Ready to be sold again. I don't know if the camera still has service. Sorry, I should have made your payment. Yikes. Well, that was easy enough. Definitely a mess, but get a shed and you put it on payment, and you don't make your payments and just leave it sitting there. That's what's going to happen. That's, you know, whatever. That's your business, your choice. So, um, oh, a couple questions people ask is you know what happens to the shed well you know I just showed you there it dropped it off at the lot where it sold again sometimes it's the same lot that sold in the first place sometimes it's a different lot some dealers don't want repos and then uh, others have a whole bunch of them and so there's certain places we take them and the stuff in it well that's um, technically Typically, the rent loan companies give them 10 to 15 days. They can have different rules, but it's kind of what I've heard is that they can come get their stuff. At the same time, they also have the right to keep it and use it as use it as uh, collateral for non-payment. And like this one here was, it was a few thousand behind the way it looked, and it was fairly new, so it looked like they probably. I mean, it's possible they never made a payment. Maybe did a little down payment, never paid again because because it doesn't make sense to be that far behind on a little shit like that. So they might just say, "Well, we're keeping the stuff and selling it to recoup some of their loss." Because now they have to resell it. They have to pay us to pick it up. They have to pay the dealer to sell it. They have to pay somebody to re-deliver it. And so the cycle continues. And for all the haters out there that say, oh, you're taking advantage of people, and these rent don't come to taking advantage of people, and you know, you don't take advantage of me. No, there's no rent don't come to taking advantage of me. You know why? Because I don't buy a shed on, re on payments. If I would, I'd make sure I make the payments, but I'm not doing that because their interest is crazy high. Yes, I know it is. That's why I don't buy it, because I ain't paying that interest. You know, the car companies and the, the banks are also not taking advantage of me because I ain't buying a $50,000 truck and making payments on it. I mean, if it's a work truck, I might, but personal truck? Hell no. I'll drive the old truck until I can pay cash for it. I ain't paying that interest. Because that's dumb. That's just dumb. Like Ramsey would, Dave Ramsey would say, that's dumb. People do it. So, blame the play at the blah. Blame the players, not the game. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so that's, you know, how the cookie crumbles. Um, you know. Anyways, speaking of cookie, got a little, uh, got to promote my new coffee thing. Mmm, yummy coffee. So if you want good coffee, I drink blackout coffee. Blackout coffee. If you want crappy coffee, you can go to Goodwill and buy some used coffee, you know. Or you go to AutoSol and buy some weird coffee that's been washed with antifreeze. But if you want good, fresh coffee, you want blackout coffee. That's what I drink. It's right here. I don't want to show the logo because the logo is from one of the Red Dog companies. Uh, I need to get a cup from them yet. So, yeah. If you want a discount, I will put a link in the description and also up here, probably around here somewhere. And uh, if you want a discount, go 
put the coffee in the cart, go and use the code Josh20, Josh20, to get 20% off your order when you order the good coffee from Blackout Coffee. That being said, peace out.